Hi guys, a little bit of a disaster here. Um, had to clear out my workroom. And well, I say clear out, move stuff around a bit. So you can't even get to my workbench at the moment. Because there's normally a bed in here, because it's the spare bedroom. And my daughter and her children are coming to live with us for a while while she's between house moves. So we've had to move the bed out of here and put it into the big bedroom. And I'm a bit stuck now for doing projects. What I will do is I'm going to do a very simple little rubber band powered car. Because I think that's about all I can manage at the moment till I can reorganise things. So I've got this shower cream plastic bottle. So I'm going to use a couple of, uh, where are we? I suppose moving stuff around was handy. I found some of the stuff that I didn't know I'd got. Lollipop sticks here. Pack of 50. So I'll use a couple of them for Axos. And then some bottle tops for wheels and see if we can make a little car. Oh. Empty felt tip pen tubes. So that'll be tonight's project. We're working on the floor here, because I can't get to my workbench at the moment. This particular plastic bottle has actually got a seam all the way around the edge. And because these uh, milk bottle tops are actually smaller than the thickness of the bottle, I'm going to cut all the way round on that seam, so I just use half the bottle and then the wheels will be big enough not to um, drag or at least so the bottle doesn't drag with the wheels so there we go two halves of the bottle now I need to make some holes in it for the axles to go through you could probably use a sharp nail or something I've got this tool called a braddle before I make the holes, I should just make a mark so I get them at the same height or same position on both sides. Because that will help the car go straight. The front end should be alright because we've got some lines going round that we can just drill the hole on the line but at the back there's no convenient line. If you use a hot metal spike it'll go through there easily. I quite often use my soldering iron to do this. Obviously if you've got a proper drill you could drill the hole as well. I'm just assuming that you don't have all the tools when you're trying to copy this. Now we need to open up these holes so they're big enough for the axles. Again, a hot wire would be the easiest way to do this, or a hot nail. I think I will switch my soldering iron on, because that will be the quick way to do it. Just waiting for the soldering iron to warm up. While we're doing that, we can have a look at these lollipop sticks. I 
bought these a long time ago, intending to use them for car axles. I forgot about them. They're reasonably stiff and they look like they're some sort of plastic. These bottle tops have actually got a little mark right in the middle, so that'll be handy for getting the position right. And again, we need to make the hole there the right size for these to go through. They need to be a tight fit, because it needs to grip. Order an iron smells like it's got nice and warm. Let's just test that for size. Now that's too tight. It needs to be very loose. Otherwise there'll be too much friction and the car won't move. So I'm just using the heat of the soldering iron to melt the plastic and make the hole bigger. We also need a little hole here to attach the rubber band to, so I'll just poke that straight through. I'll turn the soldering iron off again because we don't need it. For my pencil sharpener I'm going to put some points on the end of this then we can push it through the holes I've already made and it'll fit on nice and tight. There we go, I've put points on them, well not sharp points but uh, at least they're tapered a bit. Good tight fit. I shall pack these out with plasticine or play-doh, whatever you like to call it. So that's one. And those still feel like they're not quite as free-running as I want them to be. I might open those holes out just a little bit more with my soldering iron. And there we are. 
They're nice and loose in there. So we now need to add a rubber band or two. Got some pretty thin ones here. So join a couple together. Probably do three, I should think. Three should be enough. Push it through the hole and push the rubber band through the loop. Underneath that axle so it clears it. onto the back axle and you have to wrap it round itself so it holds itself in place and we just wind it up we'll get lots of wheel spin at the moment and what I'll do is as I say I'll put some plasticine or play-doh in the wheels to make them heavier and then they should grip So we'll go and get some plasticine and we'll try it out. We're in the kitchen. That's my grandchildren's Play-Doh set. I've just pinched the orange and the pink and filled up the back wheels so they're now much heavier so they should grip. I've also put some sticky back coloured paper on the car just to make it look a bit pretty. So we'll set it up and see if we can go the length of the kitchen. We're all set up, so we'll wrap the rubber band around the back axle. You have to get it so it wraps over itself. Then it holds itself still while you wind it up. So that should be plenty. Are we ready? Let's go. Oh. Didn't go quite as straight as I hoped. I've added some more weight to the wheels, see if we can reduce the wheel spin and try and get a straight run out of it. That was better. Yep, there we go. That'll do. Quick summary, what have we got? We've got a plastic um, shampoo or shower conditioner, I think it was, bottle that I've cut in half along its edge. So it's half the thickness. The wheels are milk bottle tops, the axles are lollipop sticks, some sort of plastic. Uh, I pushed holes through the plastic bottle for the axles to go through and I actually used my soldering iron to make them a little bit bigger so they're a nice loose fit. You could have just used a, a bigger drill bit or maybe a hot nail will do the same job. Also pushed a hole through the front there to push the rubber band through to hold it in place. And then I filled the back wheels with Play-Doh or Plasticine or Blue Tack would do, anything like that. Just to give them a bit of extra weight so that they grip. Because with nothing in them the wheels just spin. 
and then we wrap the rubber band round the back axle by wrapping it round itself. So you put a loop over there and then make sure it goes underneath itself and that holds it in place as you wind it up. Or you could just put some sort of hook on the back axle and that would hold it in place for you. That's it. Job done.